Hello, my darlings, and welcome back to our sacred universe. Today, we're going to be working on healing a heart wound created in you by one of your parents. Unfortunately, it is a very common type of wound on planet Earth. It is also one of the foundational wounds that has most likely made you who you are. Please remember that you have selected both of your parents. It was not a random choice or decision. And no matter how you have been hurt by one or both of them, the type of wounding that they have inflicted on you has been the exact shape, size, and flavor that you wanted to experience in order to become who you have become. That being said, there comes a time in our earthly incarnations when we are ready to release and let that go. And so if you are ready to start healing your parental wound, this is the journey for you. Now, before we get started, just a couple of housekeeping items. I wholeheartedly invite you to check out my other podcast called This is Maria. I also have a YouTube channel that has all of the recordings under This is Maria. And that podcast is very, very different. It is a very informational, focused place. It contains a lot of the answers around the topics of energy and you know how energy flows and energy work and the secrets of the universe and numerology and planets so hopefully you can check it out and secondarily if you've been loving our meditations and our time together the next step of diving deeper with me would be to Check out my book. I have it in an audio format. It's called 72 Keys to Manifestation or An Ancient Path of a Modern Day Alchemist. And it is meant to help you create your best life. Manifest that best life. It is a very spiritual book. It is permeated by high frequency codes. And it's a multi-layered book. So even if you read it multiple times, there's always going to be something new there for you to find little easter eggs of insight and it also contains a lot of meditations and yeah if you buy the audiobook on audible they're gonna be almost guided all right my darlings why don't we dive into the deep journey of today of healing your heart wound created by one of your parents now if you have wounding from both of your parents i recommend doing this meditation twice one for your mother wounding and one for your father wounding all of these wounds are unique in shape and size and caliber and texture and so you don't want to be working on more than one at a time all right my darlings feel free to grab a comfortable seated position or lie down, close your eyes, allow yourself to just be in this moment right now, let your thoughts go, allow them to enter and leave your brain without holding on to them. Allow yourself to just focus on my voice through this healing. You may start by noticing your breath. The soft inhale and the gentle exhale. The rhythm of your beautiful heartbeat. Reminding you to be present, reminding you of how much life force courses through your body, 
Allow yourself to relax. You can start relaxing. From your toes, the soles of your feet, letting go any of the tension that dwells there. Allow the relaxation to move up your body and liberate your calves and your knees from any stuck energies that may be there. Allow the relaxation to travel up your thighs, up into your lower abdomen, removing any tension, any blockages, any darkness, and any distortion that may be there. Allow yourself to fully relax into this healing. Allow the relaxation to move up to your belly button. Removing the protective shields that dwell there. The protective shields that tell you you need to be strong. You have to hide your feelings. You have to bear your traumas deep. So that nobody and nothing can find. Just how hurt you are. Please do not worry. We are only removing your protective shields temporarily for the duration of this healing. As soon as we are done, they are going to be reassembled back onto your body. Allow the relaxation to move up into your heart space, releasing any and all tension, pain, harshness, and darkness that may be there. Feel as the relaxation spreads to your shoulders, your elbows, your wrists, flowing into your palms and every, every finger of yours. Feel just how good it is to be able to fully release the tension, the stress, the alertness, and just become one with this moment, allowing your neck to relax, relaxing your jaw, your ears, your eyes, your beautiful brain, even the hairs on your head, relaxing every particle within your body. And now, I want you to think about the parent who you have had a tough relationship with, a parent that caused you the wounding that requires healing at this time. Imagine their face in front of you. And as you're looking at their face, I want you to, for a quick moment, think about some of the pain that they have caused, some of the things that they said or did that really stuck with you. 
some of the things that happened that were just not okay. Some of the things that have created a deep hurt within you. And I want you to go to the part of your body where this hurt lives. Where is it in your body that this pain is calling home? Whatever organ or tissue or just spot in your body you're being called to explore right now is the right part. Allow your focus to go there momentarily. And I want you to notice how this part of your body looks very dark, looks black, almost charred. With all of these stuck pain and suffering. The things that you remember feeling. But above and beyond the things that you never allowed yourself to feel. The things that you stashed deep, deep inside because it hurt too much. All of your processed and unprocessed emotions have caused this area of your body to become charred like a little charcoal. I want you to notice how, out of nowhere, a potent stream of heavenly waters is opening up and starting to wash over the spot of your body that contains all of this pain and suffering. It's like a heavenly river that came to cleanse this area of your body. And I want you to notice how the waters of this river are caressing this very hurt aspect of you. I want you to allow this torrent to go straight through that spot that is hurting. Go straight into that organ or that tissue and come out on the other side. And you will notice that as it comes out on the other side, the water that was once pristine is looking dirty, but at the same time, it has absorbed, it has taken away a lot of that unprocessed trauma, a lot of those unprocessed feelings. And I want you to notice how this water is carrying that darkness out, out, out of your body. And I want you to follow this river as it keeps flowing, as it keeps cleansing, as it keeps removing the darkness from this part of your body. Allow the darkness to go. You do not need to hold on to this reminder anymore. Today, once and for all, you are ready to be healed. And to become full again. Allow the river to remove the darkness from this area of your body for as long as it feels good. If you need to stop this recording while that process is taking place, feel free to do so. Whenever you are ready, I would like for you to shift your focus to your heart space. I want you to observe a beautiful heart every single time we have 
a wounding from one of our parents. Our little hearts are baby hearts when we're children. These beautiful hearts suffer. The wounding that our parents create in us run deep. But they're not a predicament. And they're not forever. I want you to approach your heart and notice that there are a few knives protruding from your heart. And each knife represents an instance when your parent hurt you, intentionally or otherwise, with their actions, with their words, or perhaps just the energy that they were emitting. Allow yourself to take these knives one at a time and start removing them from your heart. As you do so, you may start getting pictures of instances where you were hurt, or you may not see anything. Simply remove every single knife that is protruding from your heart. And then allow the golden thread of resurrection, restitution, the golden thread of life to seal the wounding left by these knives. To stitch your heart back together to mend the broken parts, sealing everything back into wholeness. Watch as the fissures and the cuts created by these knives become sealed. And what remains is a beautiful, smooth surface of your heart. I would like for you to walk around your heart, look at it from the other side. You may be surprised to notice that on the other side, from the back side of your heart, as you're observing it, a big chunk of the heart is missing. It's like somebody or something came and tore at it. And now a big particle of this heart is nowhere to be found. As you look around, you notice that there is a charred particle of your heart laying underneath your feet. This particle of your heart was once torn away from the rest of your heart during a particularly wounding moment. It's like your heart cracked in two through the wounding that you have received. Again, whether that was a word or a deed, it matters not. But your little heart got shattered. And now you're here to pick up all the pieces. And so I want you to pick up the little charred particle of your heart and reattach it back to the hole. Some of you may find that there are multiple shards or multiple particles of your heart that require reattaching in this way. Allow yourself to seal these parts back to your heart using the golden thread and needle 
stitching them back together, sealing them until your heart becomes wholesome and perfect once more. And I want you to notice how your heart is turning golden for a quick moment. And as it is pumping blood, it is pumping golden blood. Gold is the color of life. Gold can mend anything. It is a beautiful energy that is available to you always, coming straight from source. And as you are observing your heart, once again, full and complete, you know that you are ready to finally face your parent. I want you to imagine that your parent that caused you so much heartache is standing right in front of you. I want you to notice how they are coming closer to you and street and tears are streaming down their face. I want you to remember how at one point in a place outside of time-space reality, you have met with a soul of your current parent and you have made an agreement with them that the two of you are going to descend into this incarnation and the two of you are going to be each other's teachers and students. You ask your parent to make you stronger or perhaps teach you a lesson. Yes, a part of that lesson involved inflicting pain upon you. And that soul loved you so much. They loved you so unconditionally that they agreed to be your teacher, even if it meant that they were going to have to cause you temporary pain. They didn't do any of what they did to spite you, to be difficult, or to mess you up. They did it as a service to you because their soul loves you so. And as your parent is approaching you right now and their tears are streaming down their face, look at how much love they hold for you and look at how hard it is on them that your relationship has been damaged in this way. They feel it, and you feel it. And as your parent approaches you and takes your hand in theirs, feel as the energy of their love is starting to stream from their hands to yours, from their heart to yours. What does your parent want to tell you right now? You may ask them why they were the way that they were, why they did what they did. How come life turned out this way for you? You may even stop the recording for this very, very important conversation if the information that you're getting arrives as a very clear stream. Otherwise, I want you to notice how there is a bridge between your heart and your parents' heart, but that bridge is broken. 
as if something cut this connection in half at one point. Watch how your parent stretches out their hands and puts their hands on your shoulders. They would love to repair this bridge between the two of you. They would love for you to feel the massive amounts of unconditional love that they've had for you all these years. In this lifetime and prior to incarnating, most importantly prior, they want you to know how deeply their soul loves you and how they never wanted to let you down. How they never wanted to make you feel like you were not enough or you were on your own or you were abandoned by them. They never wanted you to feel any of those things. And it is their heart's greatest desire that you feel the full extent of their love today. I know you may be in resistance to receiving anything from them. I know that they may have hurt you, but also remember that what unites you at soul level is love. And that it has been your choice all along to experience this wounding, to experience this pain, one of the many lessons on your path. Please know that by accepting the unconditional love of your parent, you are not doing a disservice to what has happened. For your memories are important. Your memories are valid. Your feelings are valid. But they are also lessons. They are experiences that your soul wanted you to have in this lifetime. And because of that, they are precious, as painful as they may have been. For they made you who you are. Allow yourself to temporarily lift the restrictions on receiving your parents' love. Understand that the energy stream that they are sending you from their heart is not here to harm you. It is here as a peace offering. It is here as an apology. And it is here as a testament to how much you mean to them. Allow yourself to rebuild the bridge between your heart and the heart of your parent. And if you can, forgive them fully. For surely you cannot hold them accountable for the choices that your soul made. For surely there is more that unites you than what divides you. I want you to think of the good times. I want you to think of the warmth. I want you to think of the words or actions that they did that built you up instead of tearing you down. Small and frequent though those actions may have been. Allow yourself to amplify all of those good things. Watch as their power grows tenfold and a hundredfold and a millionfold. Watch how all the good things that your parent did to you is growing exponentially, filling up your heart space and helping reforge the bonds that have been broken helping you reconnect with your parent 
heart to heart. Is there anything you would like to say to your parent right now? Is there anything that they need to know at this moment? Watch as the bridge between their heart and your heart is reforged anew. Watch as it becomes broader, more potent, and an avalanche of love starts to travel from the heart of your parent straight to your heart, filling in all of the gaps, every nook and cranny, with a beautiful, emerald energy of their unconditional love for you. And you, as a child, simply allow yourself to take and keep taking until you become sated. Keep drinking from this beautiful resource, nurturing waters of your parents' love. And please know that that represents the truest form of their feelings for you. What you may have felt before was simply a distortion and an illusion. Something that is temporary. But this love, this love is forever. This love is real. This love is true. Notice just how much love they have for you. It's like a bottomless ocean. And notice how your love for them is just as potent, is just as big. And so as they're sending you their love, send it back to them. Send it in the flavor that you want, in the color that you want, straight back into their hearts. And notice how they are smiling at you. And their tears are starting to dry down. And so you come closer and give them a hug. You hug them so tightly and so warmly. And you tell them that you love them. And they tell you that they have always loved you. Every second of every day, every moment. with every breath that they took. There is something that they would like to give you right now. From the very bottom or from the very center of their heart, a little object that represents the extent of their love and commitment to you. Whatever that object is, take it with much gratitude and place it inside of your heart space. So the symbol of their love and devotion to you is always going to be within arm's reach. So it can always serve as a beacon of just how much you mean to them. And if you have a gift for them as well, a gift that would represent your love and the extent of your feelings for them, do give it to them right now. Watch as they accept your gift and place it inside of their heart space. So a part of you can always be with them, just like a part of them is always going to be with you. Please know that this bond that you now have is sacred. It is unbreakable. Nothing can tarnish it or diminish its power. Feel the gratitude in your heart for these, for this healing and this reconciliation. Feel how your heart is full of love and forgiveness, compassion and understanding. How the blame is no more. And how your heart is now a safe haven And it feels so full and so abundant and so luscious and so ready to give and receive. And 
And now, allow yourself to softly come back, waving goodbye to your parent, knowing that they're always going to be in your heart just like you are going to be in theirs. Feel free to start moving your body, stretching your neck, shoulders, your back, wiggling your fingers and toes, slightly moving around. And whenever you're ready to open your eyes, please do so. I hope you feel how strong today's healing was. There is so much light emanating from your auric field right now. It is beautiful. I want to thank you for going on this journey with you, with me. I want to commend you for the hard work that you have done, the work of forgiveness, the work of becoming whole again. Please know that I see you. Your efforts are seen and witnessed. And I hope that the love and the bridges that you have created t today will continue to nurture you for many years to come. With all my love, Maria. <laughs>